Guilty Gear Strive. You made us wait for so long, but we finally get to not only see, but actually play the damn 3v3 game mode. I mean, it's beautifully done. Exquisite brain rot, might I add. In this video, we're gonna cover everything you need to know about the Guilty Gear Strive Team of 3. Booting up to the main menu, you'll see a new icon, the Team of 3 icon. You enter it, and you have the option to play a match or play the tutorial. Now let me give you the breakdown of how this mode works. You create or join a team online of three human players. One of you will be the main character starting on point, and the other players are the assists starting in the bench, versus another team of three. At the beginning of the match, the point characters start off by playing normal ass drive. But after some time, you'll see these icons light up. That's where the fun begins. They're really only important if you're an assist character, which is gonna be the case two out of three times. So I'll explain them real quick. The red kicking icon is a break-in. It's basically a normal assist specific to your character. And when you're in the bench, you can trigger a break-in with the heavy slash button. And you have three variants of break-ins. Down heavy slash, that does a low attack. Up heavy slash, that does a launch-in or overhead attack. And heavy slash with no direction, that's just a regular attack. Oh, and once you use this or any form of assists, they will be on cooldown before you can use the same one again. And speaking of assists, these icons below the timer are only visible to you when you're in the bench as an assist. And these are called skills, which are still assists, but they have a lot more utility than break-ins that are used solely for attacking. And it's not unique to one character. The skills available right now are Lightning, Healing, Poison, Fire, A Gust of Wind, Afro, A Counter Hit Orb, and Guilty Gear Mascot's Chimaki. He acts as a wall. You cycle through these skills with left and right and you can trigger them with the kick button, each of them draining the bar directly beneath it at their own different costs. Everybody has the same ones now, but I'm guessing on release there'll be more and you can customize your loadouts, judging from the customized skills on the menu. Now, the green clap in hand is a tag request, and as an assist character, when this is highlighted, you can make a tag request by pressing slash, and the timer will show at the bottom left or right depending if you're 1p or 2p respectively. This tag request lasts for a few seconds and it's up to the main character on point to accept the request in order for the tag to occur. They accept by hitting all the attack buttons excluding dust to initiate the tag. And if you're on point as a main character, you can also use this same input to initiate a tag request of your own that then has to be accepted by either of your teammates by pressing the slash button. And it's first come first serve. Now, about the actual tag itself. Once initiated, the assist character comes on screen with full control and the main character stays on screen for a short while, indicated by the bar above their heads, allowing both of them to jump the ever-living shit out of the guy in front of them. And once this bar depletes, the main character goes to the bench as the new assist character. And if you remain in a round and you tag out, you can tag back in until the next round, so keep that in mind. Oh, and last but not least, all three characters share the same health bar. That's the basics of the game mode and rules, but there's some extra important things to take note of that the game doesn't tell you. First of all, this is more of a beta thing. This build is running on the old patch, so Testament and Batman are dog shit again. And secondly, assists don't kill. Regardless if they're break-ins or skills, the only way to kill an opponent is if you have the main character hit the person. Thirdly, when two characters are on screen during a tag, which I'm gonna be calling the jumping phase, you can't throw the enemy at all. You just whiff your throw. Also during the jumping phase, both characters can take damage, draining your health even faster. Next tip is, after you swap out a character, the health bar will drain according to the specific character's defense modifier. So you can be tanky as Potemkin, but when you switch out to Chip, your health runs away. Another thing that's kind of obvious but really cool that you're allowed to do, you can have three of the same characters on the same team, which leads to things like this happening. To find a match is pretty simple too. You either join a team and queue for a match, or create a team and queue for a match. So they do know how to do proper matchmaking. This mode also has ranks, which is really funny because the main supposedly competitive game mode has no rank, but Mario Party does. And don't get mad I called it Mario Party, because not only is Mario Party fun, if you take it seriously, you end up making enemies with everyone, especially with how this game works. Someone can be playing on an Intel Pentium laptop, and now everyone is playing the game at 20% speed. It is not that serious. Heck, the base game is hardly ever that serious. Only tutorial and online are available now, but skill customization, sparring, which is basically training mode, and player match will come later. I'm especially waiting for player match, because there will be online tournaments for this thing, and the salt would be glorious. As for things I want in the full release, if they could add a quick phrase or emote system that's visible to only their teammates to remind them to switch so they can stop hogging the point roll. 
That would be great. Sure, screaming in a Discord call with your homies arguing about switching is fun, but you can do that when you're solo queuing. Or if they want to watch the world burn, add voice chat. And what kind of team styles do you guys like? Three of the same, random, or themed like Team One Shot? I'll make a poll about it too. So remember to subscribe so you can see it. And leave a like on the video while you're at it. See ya!